Hello and welcome to GPTV on Tuesday the 2nd of February in the year 2021. My name is Philip Kingston. I'm Gary Peer. Well, we got through it, Gary. 2020 is like hindsight. It's now in the rear vision mirror. Thank it's now behind us and that couldn't happen quick enough. Thank goodness for that, Phil. We won't be missing it, will we? No. But, uh, you know, they say whatever doesn't, whatever doesn't whatever kill you makes you stronger. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, Gary. Indeed. And uh, I think 2020 was something that, you know, just strengthened us, Phil. It made us understand that you can never take anything for granted. That's the lesson that I got for 2020. You can never make, don't, don't put anything off because you just don't know what's coming tomorrow, do you? Who would have ever thought, yep. I mean, for really all of the 2000s, yep. uh, we always talked about 2020, 2020, amazing 2020. And Did you talk 2020 about 2020 hindsight, 2020 yep. vision. It was going to be an incredible year in February, March. Uh, it was looking like it was really going to be the mother of all years. And then just out of nowhere... That crazy little virus, that crazy little virus that is microscop microscopic, microscopic yeah. and yet caused so much carnage and havoc, Chaos. let alone, of course, uh, the deaths that it caused. Yes, very um, sad. Although, yep. here's an interesting stat for you, Gary. The death rate, yep. I'm told, in Australia yep. for 2020 yep. was below average. Oh, okay. So Fair if you enough. think about that, that's We've kind of extraordinary well. because okay. there is a normal death rate in yep. every country and normally there is a certain number yep. of deaths that we, we know are going to happen. Yep. Uh, and yet many of those deaths that would have occurred via the flu, yep. uh, via car accidents, all of these things that we just kind of yep. just take for granted in life didn't occur. Because okay. people weren't going out, so people maybe, didn't get the flu. So maybe we're better off with COVID. Is that what you're trying to say? Is that your message here, well, Phil, in some I, twisted way? I don't think that's yeah. the message, Gary, right, but it's okay. just always interesting. Everybody mm. in life has always sees yeah. things through a different prism. Yes. Yeah. Um, but yes, great to have 2020 behind us, even though yeah. 2021 will be an interesting year, which is a Confucian curse. Well, there you go, Phil. Um, every cloud's got a silver lining, I suppose. And look, um, it's interesting your comments, you know, that everybody was looking at 2020 and everyone's interested. In but I never really thought about it. So, no, so what would be not. that I never thought about? You know, I'm more interested in whether order of commands fit for its next campaign, you know, it's going to Adelaide to hopefully win the Goodwood Handicap. But Philip, um, you know, I never really thought about that it. That was about the only, so interesting the, that, the only <laughs> industry that didn't stop, wasn't it? I the know, race, racing. Oh, no way. The horses, industry. they don't get COVID. Don't worry about that. Everything else can be collapsing. The horses, they're racing still. Uh, and off they go. Uh, Phil, um, lots of things happening this year. And, uh, Happy you know, New Year, good. viewers. Even though you yeah. really can't say it in February. I think there's a, a 31st yes, of right. January cutoff where you can't say Happy New Year that's anymore. Right. But given the fact this is our first GPTV for 2021, I want to wish you all a happy, healthy, healthy, peaceful and prosperous 2021. Uh, well, there's that Curb Your Enthusiasm uh, episode, Phil, where... Larry David. David. Larry David, where he starts saying to people around the 20th of January, Happy New Year, and they go, you can't say it now. It's the 20th, you know, it's too late. So we haven't quite worked out what the date is. I said Happy New Year to someone the other day and they looked at me like I was on drugs or I something. Think, I think you can say it up until the 31st yeah. of January. Um, Gary, how's your summer been? Look, I've got to say, Phil, I've got some good news and I, and I want to talk a bit about restructuring the show a little bit because, you know, we had these segments. One of the segments we had was Gary's Beef, you yep. know, which was kind of a bit of a spin-off from the Hey Hate Saturday, What Cheeses Me Off yes. section, right? Yep. Yep. Um, and it was What Gary's Beef. And I think I've reflected a bit, Phil. I've had time to think about it. I think it's a bit negative. And I think we should have a new segment. And I've, got, I've asked you to take a photo with me <laughs> for this new segment called... How good is that? Either how good is that or you little beauty, mate. Any thoughts about that? Oh, Where well, we have I, our, I think our logo I, with our thumbs up, Phil. There's an image of it yeah. right now. And um, I think let's celebrate positivity. And I reckon we should say, how good is that? Or you little beauty, mate. Which one's it going to be? Well, just I pick think, one I, or the I, other. I think I'm going to go in the interest of yeah. just aligning ourselves with the current Prime yeah. Minister. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll go with how good's that? How, how good, good is Australia? That? How good's that? Okay, how good is that? So I've yeah. got my first how good is that? your little beauty, I mean, I think you've got to be over the age of 50 yeah. to really get what you yeah, little beauty is. Yeah, but little beauty, how good's that? How good's Australia? Or you little beauty, mate. Yeah, you know, yeah. How uh, good is Australia? Like, yeah. How good is that? So how good is that? We'll so, try it. We'll try okay. it for an episode or two. I've got. So let's put it up. Let's put up the image that I've made you take a photo of. How good is that? Is about for me, service in Queensland, <laughs> and we have bucketed Queensland. We went to a conference there. 
rocketed Queensland skating don't attack. T- don't tell me um, in surface this year where you were for your holiday. Yeah, yes. Don't tell me you actually had some good service. I had uh, great service in the Gold Coast. And I just want to talk to those people on the Gold Coast. I do not believe it. I'm telling you, Phil, uh, you know I'm a connoisseur of service, a, of yes. giving service, yes. and like to get good service. And the restaurants in the Gold Coast. Are we know, talking plural? You had, uh, you had, you more had than one. many good service Hotel. Uh, not cab, really, but uh, Uber, yeah. hotel and restaurants, bang, the trifecta, Phil. Wow, uh, wow. Good service in the Gold Coast. So well done down there in the Gold Coast. I don't know what up it there. was. Uh, yeah, okay, up there. Uh, unless you're talking from Darwin. We're not today, are we? Uh, but if you, uh, you know, if you were like us, which we're very, we weren't happy about it, Phil, but I'm, and I'm not sure whether it's because of COVID, because they haven't seen your tourists for a long time, maybe, or just because I think a few good places came in, started giving good service, Phil, and set a new standard. Right. But the Gold Coast, how good is that? How good is that? And your number one restaurant experience yeah. For surface in 2021 was which? Well, it which, depends. Which, which, yeah. What was your best meal? So, look, do you like eating and not really listening to a lot of talk? Noisy, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Noisy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you don't want to hear, like, you know, if you want to go, like, if let's just say for my wife, who hears too much of me, she loves going to a restaurant where she can't hear me. Yeah. She just sees my mouth food. She just okay. smiles beautifully. Yeah, that'll um, be the so Japanese restaurant on the highway. That's exactly it. It's Sui, Phil. That is my number one. Uh, or I took your tip. It is a great, just for, by the way, this, Sui, yeah. this Japanese is fantastic. fantastic. Great good, service good, still. Good as Japanese food as you'll get anywhere. Yeah. But you cannot no, hear a word exactly there. Right. I remember we went in there one night. Yes, it's Sui. And not only cool. is it a noisy, it's not it's only is it a yeah. noisy restaurant. Yeah. And it's great. The vibe's great. Oh, and if you're a young buzzing. person, if you're a yeah. young person with normal hearing, yeah. it's fine. But we went in there one night knowing that okay, we're going to go because we love the food, but it's going to be a noisy experience. We walk through the door yeah. and they've got a DJ playing. Yeah, exactly. It's like, you need that. Yeah. Are you serious? To make it even noisier. Yeah. Well, you know, okay. I, I say to a lot of people our age, uh, don't complain about the noise because you won't be able to hear it soon anyway. Right, the way right. you're going. So that was your yeah. best meal. Yeah, that, Se- well, that was the best, best one. And then so, your tip, Phil. Yeah, the social. Uh, which, the social, yeah. very good yeah, there. Very Although they good. took a few things off the menu second time around, went there twice. Anyway, look, Gold Coast, go there, uh, support it. Stay in Australia. You can't come anywhere else anyway. Uh, and I reckon that that is a winner. Although I'd like to support regional Victoria too, Philip. And I did go uh, into that uh, Port Ferry area as well. Did you really? Bit. Yeah, went to Port Ferry, played some golf. Went to Fort, Port Ferry in Warrnambool. Fantastic Port Ferry as well. They've got a good golf service. course in Port Ferry. Oh yeah, ripper golf and course. Is it, and is it a good golf course? It's a beauty. It was, they've lost or left a lot of balls there. Got to say, Phil, tough golf course, but okay. beautiful golf course. Port Ferry and Warnable if you're golfers. And anyway, I look. Lovely, what about you? lovely. You were so, just you were so just local, weren't we you? We just stayed at home, and I've got yep. to tell you the time. We are going to talk about real estate at some stage. The time, time just yeah. flew, Gary. Time. Yeah. I had all of these plans about what we were yeah. going to do. But you were out a lot for dinner. In, in you were actually quite we a did, social butterfly these days. We did go out for dinner. Uh, in fact, last night, I'm just viewers. If you haven't, and I did bump into some friends and clients there, we went to see the trienni- triennial at the National Gallery of Victoria. Is that a movie or miniseries? Uh, and if you <laughs> haven't been, so the NGV, I haven't been to the NGV for quite some yeah. time, and I walked back through the doors and I thought, you know, I haven't been here for a long time. I forgot how incredible yes. the NGV is. Well, if you like the NGV or you haven't been there for a few years, go. Because they, what they've done with this triennial is unbelievable. Yep. It is just the best experience. So I urge you... And what, uh, tell us a bit about the triennial. For, let's presume that I'm ignorant and know nothing about it. So, so I'm not going to presume that you're ignorant and know nothing yeah. about it. Uh, I'm just going to go with that fact. Okay. Uh, but bottom line is yeah. it's a modern, a modern overlay yep. on the existing uh, exhibition. Yep. And it is incredible you should go to it and then we event after that we went to Saki for dinner yep. haven't been to the oh, yeah, haven't been to, Sa- yeah. went to Saki in Sydney but yeah. I haven't been to Saki love uh, it it's fantastic food yeah, we good. had we had a fantastic meal uh, and there were tennis players walking past us really? and the whole South Bank COVID, area was COVID, alive COVID and we, we overlooked not that we went there because we're just too old but we looked over the Yarra and saw Arbury of Flos. yeah it looks like uh, a just unbelievable I love Melbourne yeah, there's no it. point going away just stay in your city stay at home best holiday we had a great well, sounds holiday. like we're very positive Phil we've had a lot of uh, time to regenerate yes get our energy back and get ready for a very big year in real estate. Well, I, th- I don't think we should talk a bit about real estate. Well, we actually Gary, sold a uh, we sold a house, Philip, that I want to talk a little bit about. Uh, not so much about the house necessarily, but the vendor of the house, Philip. That's the house in the number fourteen Parklands Crescent uh, that sold at one million seven hundred and five thousand dollars. Now, interesting story, Philip, because it actually sold for a little bit less. Yes, the sale fell through. 
and lo and behold, we've gone and sold it for more uh, interesting, afterwards, which inter is interesting. Interesting yeah. phenomenon of that, viewers. Uh, clearly, the market is rising, and we'll get into that in a Feels moment. strong. But we've had a couple of sales that didn't go th that that were sold subject to finance yep. uh, the people didn't get their finance we've had a couple of sales now yeah. where they've resold for higher yeah, figures it's so, it? so really interesting what's going on in the market viewers just to give it you a quick strong. heads up december was the biggest month in the history of the company no, although, although, <laughs> although i say to people we had our biggest november and our biggest december in the history of the company in the worst year in yeah, the history of the company yeah. so let's keep it in context i'd like to say that that one month covered all those bad months yeah no it didn't you'd like to say it, <laughs> like to say it uh, yeah. and you could say it but like it wouldn't be true no. uh, but viewers here's an interesting thing uh, we've just finished the weekend off where we had a massive number of properties well, open for inspection we had 75 out. properties uh, open you, for inspection you, you Gary. Me off course Phil. I want to talk about uh, Parkland's Crescent one thing I, I, I do want to just say Gary on the back you. of that is yep. that uh, not only do we have 75 properties open for inspection but we met 1434 groups of people let's put that number came up on 75 the properties for a 1,453 That's groups. An uh, you know, yeah. in our first year in real estate, we never had 75 properties open for the first year, and let alone meeting that many people. No, so uh, that good. stat is not up on screen to boast, but just to tell you, What's people are back. On? There are queues of people yeah, no, at open for inspections. It's unbelievable. Um, uh, 14 Parkland's Crescent. Uh, well done to Leor Samuel and, and uh, Viv Samuel. Yes. Who sailed that property, but was owned by Jutta Rubenstein Philip, a trailblazer. Of real estate, one she of the was. first most and, and one of the most dynamic women, uh, and a delightful lady too, but a dynamic woman that was a trailblazer in real estate, which was a very male business that she came in and, and well, broke the mould. I just want, uh, I just want to say, uh, she's a that, wonderful lady. You say she was one of the the leaders. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I reckon she would have been one of the first women yeah, saying, yeah. in real estate. Full stop. Yeah, she was. Um, yeah, so uh, to all of those, what do they say? Um, we stand. We, well, we, we, we stand on the back of giants. Yes. Uh, I can't remember how that goes, but yep. it's about, it's the people that went before us that make us who we are today. And certainly for all the women in real estate now, there are people like Yulda Rubenstein yep. who, who were trailblazers. Absolutely. Uh, and certainly uh, all, all, uh, now real estate is almost a 50-50 business, Absolutely. basically. But uh, it was we're people, lucky, it was people like Yulda who set the scene and um, trod the path. Indeed. Anyway, great honour to be given her uh, the late Yuta Rivers is home to sell and well done to Lior uh, for persisting in getting such a great result. Uh, Phil, Dandong Road, Armadale, we've sold another one of these. Uh, yes. Which just keep moving wonderful, along. Wonderful, wonderful uh, development Julian there. Julian Millman, well done to him. Uh, he's also an amazing January. He's a busy he and man. his team at the yeah. new projects division of Gary Pyrrhon Associates have really made January uh, a better month than generally normally is because January for us is a shocker. Yeah, shocker month, isn't it, usually? Yeah. Uh, 95 Westbury Street, Philip, he sold the 12th of 14 in that project as well. Yes, Phil. he has, uh, Gary, so only, only, only two left there. Um, so uh, if you want to buy something off the plan, uh, Julian Millman together with Rafi Joffe, together with Jacob Kingston, together with Lace, Lisa, Lisa Alberts, Alberts yeah. uh, a wonderful, wonderful new projects division that we have. We've also got some new talent, Philip, that we've employed. I think we should give uh, a yes. wrap to our new, we've got Rishi who's just started in sales, who's been in sales and real estate for some time and has moved over to the bright side uh, to Gary Pruitt Associates. So well done and congratulations to you, Rishi. Uh, Noah Briggs, another yes. lovely young man, let's put his face up, also joined us recently. And also we've got Debbie, Debbie Green, Green. Uh, who has joined our prestige team uh, in Caulfield. So uh, some wonderful new people are welcome on board. Good to have Fresh you here. Fresh, new, dynamic new talent. talent. Yeah, we love good talent. Uh, Phil, we've got auctions this weekend already. Uh, Who would have thought? I early, think that's about it? a week or two earlier. Just goes to show yep. that this market is going to gather momentum very quickly. Four auctions, Philip. We're going to review them very quickly. We're in Malvern Road, Paran. We're in all different suburbs, Philip. Malvern Road, Paran. Uh, a great looking building. Uh, this uh, one bedroom, one bathroom property. It's being auctioned by Simon Rodolnik. A terrific, yep. one of our great, terrific. Great, great location. And what, what a great way yep. to start the new year, but with an acquisition for your super fund or your first home or a downsize whatever, you, whichever way you want to use it. No better place to be in summer than on the Riviera, Philip, in Mentone. Riviera Street, Mentone, that is this wonderful two-bedroom apartment uh, that Graham Callan is auctioning. Uh, actually, a bigger pardon. It's a two-bedroom villa, Phil. Good-looking property. Love real estate like that and has been popular on Sunday. Philip, we're going to be in Marlboro country uh, and that is unit five at two to four uh, Marlboro Street in Corford North. A wonderful three-bedroom, one-bathroom, one-car space apartment around the corner from our office, it Phil, is, with Gary. living room. We know that, develop we know that development 
cafes. done well and it's yep. a great development and a really sure good is. way to get into the centre of North Caulfield at really what we consider to be an affordable price range. Indeed, Phil, Lior Samuel is going to be auctioning at 11.30am a Sunday morning. Uh, auction in Elmer Road is terrific two bedroom apartment in this fabulous looking block. Philip in a wonderful location. Love that block at 154 Elmer Road. Good floor plan, those apartments. I know them yep. well. Uh, and that's a bit of a wrap, a small wrap, Phil, because it's a small weekend of auctions. It's just the calm before the storm, Phil. It's like listening to the distant rumblings in the hills. You can hear the drums. Fernando. Fernando. <laughs> yeah, we both say that at the same time. Uh, you can hear the drums, uh, Fernando. It is starting to happen. 2021. Get ready. Big year, great listings, strong market. Uh, very excited. You? Well, Gary, you know, just a quick uh, overview of the market for our clients and all of the viewers of GPTV. Uh, obviously, 2020 was a massive, shocking, shocking ugly. It was an ugly, <laughs> terrible, year. terrible year. Awful. But if I can yeah. just reflect, finished well. January, February, March of 2020 looked like the real estate market oh, was yeah. going to go on a bit of a tear. Through the roof. Uh, the market jumped in yep. those very that very short period yep. um, and then the market tailed away but i think in november december gary uh, the loss in the market through 2020 recovered instantly Unbelievable. so literally by the time we shut yeah. up shop for christmas in december uh, the market had fully recovered any of the losses that had occurred during yep. the year uh, and we're really seeing in january the level of inquiry of the sales that we've made in january there is no question subject to things not going off track again. Big way, yeah. I think you're going to see really strong real estate price growth this year. It feels and, that it, way. and it was amazing, you know, how quickly the economists, who absolutely call it wrong no, every no. time. You know what? You know, if you're the market's if you're, going to go back by 30% you know in 2020. Uh, what's the worst job in the world? Yeah, being an economist, a, a predictor a, a of where a doomsayer. the market's I think a doomsayer. Yeah. I think because an economist can say, look, things are going to be okay. And you look at somebody like Neera Connorsby, a friend of our company who spoke to our clients on Zoom, who's wonderful oh, and she's smart. Lady. She's great, but I'm talking about the doomsayers, Phil. Yeah. Those people who live and say, look, market. I mean, we have people, you know, make this offers on houses. Look, you want two million, I'll give you one million, and you've got five minutes to take and it. Laughing, three, two, laughing one. at us. Now it's 800, you know, now it's nine, 700, now it's Now you can pay me to buy it. Uh, you know, you had a few buyers like that, Phil, that were brutal out there in the COVID uh, period, the height of COVID, thinking things would collapse. But you know what, Phil? It's been unbelievable. It's been so strong, and uh, it looks like uh, the market's just going to continue rolling along with that sort of momentum. There is no question, like. uh, viewers, you've got to remember one thing. Uh, when interest rates continue to drop, yep or are at all time historical lows, the appetite for real estate goes up. Now that theory is as old as time and yet many people forget it time and time again, particularly the doomsdayers, yes. Gary. Uh, I think we're going to see a strong real estate market. I think we're going to see price growth this year. Uh, good property is always going to sell regardless of the times, but 2021 will be a year of success for those that bought last year or buy early this year. Can we sneak in a property preview, Philip? We just can, quickly, Gary, just, well, just, just before one. we go. I just want to talk about 20 Glencoe Street, Philip. Yes. This house is a phenomenal house. Gary, and uh, it's had words, how many hits is it? beyond people, words. I've had people, firstly, well done on your video. He does do a good job with those videos. He really is outstanding. Thank you, Gary. Uh, pleasure. Uh, he does an outstanding job. And, uh, of course, this has been no exception. You've done a wonderful job in wrapping this house. But I've had people contacting me from Sydney, from interstate, saying, tell me about this house. Uh, it is an international standard house. It's built by David Edelman, I think one of the best houses he ever built. Yep. Uh, and certainly, Philip, the cinema downstairs is better than any gold class cinema that you'll ever go to. What a beautiful home Gary Street is. This home is an extraordinary home. And you're right, it's had a huge number of online looks Inquiries, yeah. uh, by people that just want to see something fabulous. I don't think we've ever had a better finished yeah. home. Yep. Uh, and certainly whoever buys this home is not buying a home there. They're buying a kind of luxury cocooned estate that, yes. that, that they're never really going to want to leave. It's a house that has been designed with inspiration and they took some risks there yep. that the conventional um, architect or buyer or, or, or the conventional seller or, or producer of real estate, yes. I'm struggling to actually define it, but they took some risks <laughs> there, Gary, that yep. when you see it in finished form, you go, 
how clever is this? Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you want to see one. something incredible, come along to this. Have a look at the video. Um, don't judge me on my, um, my piece to camera from the dressing room, but I was somewhat overwhelmed in the dressing room, really? Gary. I had a little moment in the it's dressing room. It's not like room. you to be overwhelmed in well, the dressing room. You're very much at peace there. <laughs> well, uh, don't judge me, but have a look at the video because it's a fabulous property. Come along. Gary, are we wrapping it up now? We are, but I'm just, you're talking about dressing rooms. It reminded me, how, how much am I going to be up for for these suits that you've bought me? Because I'm, I'm a bit disturbed about yes, that. Because yes. he's taken me to get some suits to some place that I've never seen before, which I didn't even know existed. Some, some you know, door you knock on, you go secret inside. Secret door. It's a secret door and all of a sudden there's handshake. all these cool guys, you know, walking around, good looking fellas saying, oh yeah, put you on there, beautiful, oh yeah, charming, lovely. And uh, I don't know what the bill's going to be, but I'm scared. Well, there were no prices there, Gary. It's, yeah. uh, it's I don't kind like of, no they prices. Just, uh, they just, they, they, they look like to. like prices that they, have got a line they, through it at a lower price. They assess what you can afford. Yeah. Uh, so the good news is, uh, uh, being the prosperous man that you are, Gary, oh. uh, those suits <laughs> are going to cost you a lot yeah, of thanks, money. Thanks very much. Anyway, I'm looking forward to getting suited up and having a big and year And we're ahead. looking forward to getting you suited properly, Gary, yeah. because you have been... And what's that look you, about? What's that look about? This is uh, one of my uh, two best suits, Phil. Yeah, I know. And, yeah. and you why, bought it for me. And that's why, I, get, why I did back yeah. in the 1970s. Yeah, it was, it was a lovely suit. Yeah, exactly right. Anyway, viewers, we look forward to sharing everything that happens in real estate with you in the year 2021. Uh, hopefully you've had a great summer and hopefully you're inspired to live your best life in this new world that we live in where change will be probably the only constant. Uh, indeed, Phil, well said. And uh, thank you for all those viewers who have been hanging out for your GPTV episode. Welcome back to the show. Good to have you here. Uh, and for those who have just watched for the first time, if you're still watching, or you haven't switched off in the first few minutes, we wouldn't blame you if you had. Uh, if you're still watching, uh, we hope to continue to bring you good news with our news, good news segment and also all the real estate news on GPTV in 2021. I'm Gary Pierce. I'm Philip Kingston. Have a fabulous week, but a brilliant year.